opened up. Because how long, you know, <laughs> there's potentially five teams, including yours, that could potentially make the NCAA tournament. How would you rate the quality of the competition in this conference compared to some of the others in the nation? How tough is it for the teams you have to play in almost every game? I think it's top three, uh, at least, you know, top three conferences in the nation. I, I mean, I think so, personally. Uh, regardless of who we play, we can never take a day off. Um, I mean, that's. Just, and that's how you know you play against good teams. You, we can never relax, regardless of who we play. Is it the last team in the conference, first team, somewhere in the middle? It's never a day off. Did they do the same thing, basically, that they did in the first game? Or did they do anything differently tonight? Um, I feel like they pretty much had the same game plan. Uh, Russ Smith had a better game this time in the second half than he did the first game. Uh, we had a lot of turnovers. A lot of silly mistakes we made that kind of, you know, contributed to their fast breaks. And we just didn't play our best game tonight. But they, they did a good job, though. There was a stretch where you guys struggled to inbound against their press several times. Did they throw a different kind of press at you than what you were expecting tonight? No. They didn't. That was just um, a lack of mental toughness on our part, I guess. You know, I mean, it was... It's just something that we know how we're supposed to beat it. I mean, it's, it's simple. It was just lack of communication. I mean, it could be anything. It, it was our fault, though, basically. Um, they did nothing special. It was, it was all on us. You guys just didn't make the adjustments, I said. <clears throat> we didn't at all. <laughs> Nick, obviously, everything got started off pretty good tonight, the way you'd want to start off. And, and when you look at how this game kind of went, how disappointing is it to end like this? And I mean, the first loss you guys have had here at home. Uh, I mean, it's it's dis it's a disappointing in that aspect. You know, uh, we went undefeated until that until this point. Um, you know, but as far as you know, the team we have, we still have the same team. We still have a great group of guys. So it's, I mean, it's disappointing to lose every time, regardless of you know how it happened or where it happened or just this situation that it's seeing night. You know, regardless of that, it's it sucks to lose. You know, point blank. Uh, but we got a game on Saturday, and we need to win that game and. Hopefully we got a couple more games after that. So I mean, you know, we still have to move forward. We can't do anything about it now, but learn from it. So just gotta keep our heads up. You guys have seen a couple of senior days since you've been here. What were your emotions like when you came out and saw that size crowd and heard that kind of noise for you too? Uh, it was great, man. Uh, the fans and the students coming out and showing us a lot of love before the game, even after the game, after we lost. Um, I mean, it's emotional. I've been playing basketball for a long time. And for this to be the last one, you know, it's kind of sad a little bit. Nick, you talked about the lesson. What is the lesson for this team moving forward? Uh, the lesson is, uh, you know, just we have we have to learn from our mistakes. We got to fight through adversity better because, I mean, all our losses has been times we had adversity and uh, we didn't handle it well. I mean, that's why we lost all the games, you know, so it's. It's something that we have to really grasp and, and, and get and get used to. I mean, we got to fight because it's a time we went on a run, but they didn't panic. Louisville didn't panic. <coughs> uh, but you know, that's just, I mean, we just got to we just got to get together. And we got to we got to come together and be one as a team. Um, that's easier said than done. You know, what I mean, we really just got to grind it out. That's what it is. Basketball is a game of run, and um, I mean, we just got to keep it moving. We were playing great basketball all season. Uh, Nothing has changed really, you know, but we just we just let this one slip away. Question to both of you. Both of you have had such an interesting road getting to SMU. Both of you motivated to continue the season, have the season stretch a little bit deep into the tournament and go all the way because of the journey that's gotten you to SMU and seeing this program and where it's gone? Uh, yeah, you know, I transferred from the university University of Texas and I had a lot of say a lot of downs in my college career <laughs> until this year, so I mean us having a good season this year is kind of righting every righting the wrongs of my of my past. So, I mean, as long as we can keep this going, you know, I'm, I'm do, ready to do whatever it takes to help us win, and hopefully we can have a, a couple more games left. Coach Brown acknowledged that uh, Nick Moore's ankle was hurting. He said a lot of guys wouldn't have even tried to suit up and go tonight. You guys practice with him and play with him every day. Were you surprised to see him out there? Mm, not at all. Um, I mean, we figured that he will he will play. When he got hurt in practice, but I mean, we, it was no, I mean, at least in my mind, it was no question that he would play. I mean, because that's just who he is. You know, he, he's tough. So um, I figured he was going to suit up. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, unless it was broken, you know, but it's just a twisted ankle, and we twist our ankles every day. So 
You know, I mean, it is what it is. It comes with the territory. All right, anything else? All right, guys. Thank you. Oh, we'll go. Uh, we'll just, uh, I think uh, I was going to want to get Nick's answer to her question earlier about about being the senior days and stuff? Oh, okay, sure. Uh, you know, for me, really, it's, I mean, it's been a roller coaster, you know, similar to Sean. Uh, my two years at Kansas State, you know, it was, I mean, it really, it was, uh, it was an experience, uh, seriously. And, um, you know, I just, I was fortunate enough to come here uh, and Coach Brown get the job. Um, you know, it really, it was, I mean, it's simply just a blessing, really. That's all it is, because I had no clue. Sean, well, Sean had no clue either. He was here before. Uh, but, you know, it, you know, when it's all said and done, I'm glad I, I was able to do it with Sean. I've been knowing Sean since I was, was in the fourth grade. Fifth grade, fifth grade. Yeah, fifth grade. So, uh, I mean, just, you know, doing it with him, that's, that's, that's the best thing. So, I don't want to get emotional, but, you know, that's, that's the best thing about it. All right. Well, yeah, you know, I had to have one myself. Um, given the fact this was the only team that managed to beat you twice in the regular season, what do you take from that? going into the possibility that you may face Louisville a third time in the tournament next week? Uh, they're, they're a good team. You know, it's hard to beat a team three times, so we feel like the next time, you know, it's our time to get the win. But they're a good team. They're defending national champions. They have been in every situation, and they are what we're trying to be. So we look forward to seeing them again. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.